All right, so we want to convert a Cartesian equation to a polar equation. So I've got x squared minus y squared is 3y. And I'm remembering that there was some stuff about polar and how to convert, right? So I pull those out of the air. And then what? There's a difference of squares there. OK, there's a difference of squares there. I'm not sure if I want to see that or not. Yeah. OK. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether that's going to be useful or not. I think we so should. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Yeah. Uh, thoughts? What else? What, could I, what should I do? Oh my gosh, Paul. Plug the r cosine Just in for the x's and the r sines in for the y's. OK, yeah, if I'm supposed to convert to polar, I should probably replace Cartesian things with polar things, right? Yeah. OK, so I'm going to take these two pieces of information over here that I pulled out of the air, and I'm going to put them into this problem. So what do you get? R cosine theta squared. OK, and here's maybe the only subtlety. Quantity. R cosine theta. Quantity yeah. squared. All, all, all quantity. squared. Yeah, yeah. Minus R sine theta. Quantity squared. All squared, yeah. all squared is? 3 times. 3R. Three, 3R three three sine theta. theta. Oops, thank you. Sine theta. Cool. Mm -hmm. In some sense, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. You guys see that? Yeah. I converted a Cartesian equation to a polar equation. I could really call this done. Oh, right. Should I probably simplify a little bit? Do your little fingers itch to simplify? Yeah. Something's there. Yeah. Kind of, right? I thought I was done, but then I didn't know if you were going to stop doing that. No. That's a great question. So, this is a really deep philosophical question about math which is usually phrased by students as, when do I stop doing math to it? <laughs> and I would say, at your earliest convenience. <laughs> so I would probably call this a day. If I needed to use this for something, I would probably continue to fiddle. Some of you guys are probably going to have a tendency to try to simplify. So let's see if we can simplify a little bit, right? Just because. Probably you're going to do that. I just wanted to mention something. What threw me off just slightly in this problem, and just kept me on it a little bit longer, is it looks eerily similar to uh, one of the Pythagorean identity. Ah, good. There's a kind of a false Pythagorean identity here. You guys all see that? Mm -hmm. There's also actually an identity here, but I'm not sure if you guys are seeing it. So I'm going to leave it off for now. Having an identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me simplify a little bit. How do you start? What are the easy things to simplify? Isolate the R's. You can get rid of the R's and the theta. I don't know. I think I could maybe nix some R's. So let me multiply these squarings out. What do you get when you square R cosine theta? R squared cosine squared theta. R squared cosine squared theta. Right? Mm -hmm. Minus. Same thing, r squared sine squared. r squared sine squared theta mm -hmm. is? Just hasn't changed yet, so. 3r sine theta. OK, I haven't fiddled with that. That's a good idea. Sure. We can divide the whole thing by an r. OK. So what am I going to be left with on the left-hand side here? r cosine r Cosine squared theta mm -hmm. minus, minus r sine squared theta, theta right? Because I had to divide all the terms. Mm -hmm. Equals three sine. Equals three, sine. three sine theta. Okay. What else could you do? No, that's the false Pythagorean identity here. Uh -huh. If this was plus, right, uh, mm -hmm. then I'd be looking at a Pythagorean identity. What about dividing by theta? Ah. Uh, or you can it has to be sine theta. Okay, let's yeah, talk about that. Be, yeah. What if you divide by theta? Oh, yeah. 
stuff. You break it. <laughs> You're just going to get a bunch of shit over theta, <laughs> right? Because you can't cancel them out. Yeah. You guys tell me why? Like, why can't I go through and cancel all the thetas out? Yeah, those are in the argument of a function. Yeah. yeah. Right? That'd be like canceling the x out of f of x. That'd be a little <laughs> bizarre, right? I'm just leaving this function label hanging around. Just nah. Close. This is no longer a theta, right? This took an angle and turned it into some other stuff. So I can't cancel with the angle. Nice try, though. So you isolate theta. R or so I, it out? I could maybe factor an R out. You guys see that? Okay. I'm not sure really where I'm going with this. We're just kind of wandering around. So if I factor an R out, I've got R times cosine squared theta. Cosine squared theta minus sine. minus sine squared theta. Equals equals 3 sine theta. And then you divide. OK. Why would you divide? To isolate r. OK, you could isolate r. All right, so what are you dividing by? Cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Yeah, all the crap in the parentheses there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah OK, yeah. so you're going to get r is what? 3 sine theta over 3 sine theta over all, sine all that jazz. Cosine <laughs> squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay? Is this better, worse, and different? Well, nice. I, I don't At least there's a little letter. Something. Yeah, okay. So now I have really, right? Now I'm really thinking of R as a function of theta, right? Mm. You guys see that? That's actually pretty cool. Because this thing, you're not going to be able to write as a reasonable function. You guys see that? Mm, OK. There's some kind of a circling business going on here. It's not quite a circle, but there's some kind of a not quite a function thing happening there. If I try to isolate from one of the variables, right, I'll get a plus or minus. That means it's failing the vertical line test. But over here, somehow, we're kind of passing the vertical line test. So this is the graph of a function, <laughs> which is cool. You guys see that? So I'm going to stop here, because I feel like I'm done. Can I go further with this? Yeah. Yeah, there's a trig identity you could use on the bottom here. I'll let you guys think about that. Something with the. That thing looks vaguely similar to a double angle identity. I think you can go a little further. I don't think that's necessary here, right? I did what they asked. I converted from Cartesian to Poland. You guys good with us? Mm -hmm. Let's go double angle.